This is a rotating view of the moon. And this is the moon as seen from Earth. Do you see the difference? From Earth, we always see the same side of the moon, which is called the near side. And this gives the impression that it isn't spinning on its axis. This phenomenon is known as tidal locking. To understand it, we need to look at the moon's orbit around Earth from a polar view and divide the moon into two halves. One is called the near side, and the other is called the far side. The near side is colored red. By observing the moon's orbit, we can see that the near side always faces Earth, while the far side always faces away. This is tidal locking. Tidal locking causes the moon to rotate around its axis once in the same amount of time it takes to orbit Earth once. We can see in this simulation that the Moon orbits Earth in 27.3 days and also rotates around its axis in 27.3 days. The two periods are equal. Tidal locking slowed the Moon's rotation around its axis. The Moon now rotates at a speed of 16.6 kilometers per hour, compared to Earth, which rotates much faster at a speed of 1,674 kilometers per hour. Tidal locking also extended the length of the lunar day significantly. A day on the moon, from one sunrise to the next, lasts 708 hours, or 29.5 Earth days. So, what causes the moon's tidal locking? In simple terms, it's caused by Earth's gravity. Billions of years ago, the Moon was closer to Earth, less solid, and not tidally locked to Earth. It rotated around its axis much faster, allowing all of its sides to be seen from Earth. The slow and cumulative effect of Earth's gravity transformed the Moon into a tidally locked object. And this is how it happened. Earth's gravity becomes weaker the farther you go from Earth, and this becomes clearer over long distances. The diameter of the Moon is 3,475 kilometers. This means Earth's gravity affects the Moon unevenly. The side closer to Earth feels stronger gravity than the side farther away. The difference in gravitational pull creates a stretching effect. It distorts the Moon's shape, pulling it slightly out of a sphere and into an oblong shape. This effect is exaggerated here for clarity. This distortion is known as a tidal bulge. The bulge forms in the region directly facing Earth. However, because the Moon rotates, the bulge shifts slightly away from the point facing Earth. It then takes time for the Moon's material to redistribute and move the bulge back toward the region facing Earth, but always with a delay. This delay creates a lag in the Moon's response when forming a bulge that faces Earth. During this time, the Moon is rotating, 
which carries the bulge away from the point directly facing Earth. Earth's gravity then pulls and twists the bulge back toward Earth, creating a torque or twisting force that acts against the Moon's axial rotation. In conclusion, Earth is applying a constant gravitational break to the spinning Moon. Over tens of millions of years, Earth dragged the bulge backward, creating immense internal friction within the Moon. Rocks ground against rocks deep inside the mantle and core as the Moon's shape was constantly forced to change. This friction converted the Moon's rotational energy into heat, which was radiated away. As this energy was lost, the Moon's rotation slowed until a single spin on its axis took the same amount of time as one orbit around Earth. In this state, the bulge on the Moon no longer shifts and always faces Earth, making the Moon tidally locked to Earth.